first I wake up to the most annoying alarm clock and I quickly turn it off because no one wants to hear that. Then I quickly check my email it's just to see how many notifications I have. After that I go back into my cozy blanket. But then I realize I have to do adult stuff like work. Ugh. Then I quickly use the bathroom. And unleash the beast within. Next I do some quick stretches just to get the blood flowing. Yeah, look at that flexibility. And make sure to stretch my legs because I'll be sitting down a lot. Next, I head over to my kitchen, open the fridge, and see what's there to eat for breakfast. Being a millennial, I have so many options. I can go for pancakes, the typical avocado toast, an average American bacon and eggs. Having all this variety at my disposal, I go for oatmeal. And I am not rich. Okay, so now the moment you've all been waiting for. How do we really work from home? So, here's my desk setup. Right now, this is as good of as can be my desk. I have two laptops. So this is from my company and it's from the government. Here's the thing about working for this company and the government. So right now it is like 10 o'clock in the morning and I just turned on my laptop and I'm about to check my emails. Working in this company, we don't really have like a set time that we have to come in to like Microsoft Teams or like to check our emails. No one is really micromanaging us. It's really just up to you to decide whether or not you want to work or like if you want to be sneaky about it. So my boss, he's not saying, why aren't you logged in at like 7 a.m. or 6 a.m.? Because of these uncertain times, no one is like pushing you to do something. You just have to be like disciplined yourself in order to like show that you're working. But again, no one's really micromanaging us. No one is like angry if you're not on at a certain time. So long as you get the work done, then like they, they're understandable. You know, most people where I'm working, or at least in this company, they're like parents, so they have like children to take care of, especially during these like uncertain times where like they might have kids in daycare or like their kids are at home. So they have things to set up, so they're understanding. But luckily for me, because I don't have any kids, then I can just save that time that they're using to take care of the kids to, in a way, do whatever I want. And truthfully, <laughs> let's be real here, I know more than likely my boss too, and his boss, like these people, they're higher ups, they're also struggling so they may you know go out and do laundry or whatever at uh, some uncertain weird time during the day and no one's gonna get mad at them for doing that so like even for me i can take like a one hour breakfast or one hour lunch or just go off to do laundry 30 minutes randomly during the day and like no one's even gonna know because how will they know they're not there with me to see that oh you left the room you left your laptop no no one cares about that there are like certain life events that people are okay with and also Another quick disclaimer, so I, again, I showed you that I had two laptops and one is for my work, one is for the government. The government laptop is really slow and even connecting to the VPN, like that takes some time too. So sometimes maybe during bad weather or maybe everyone's just logging in at the same time, it's hard to get a connection. So at 8 a.m. everyone is coming in at the same time. So they're trying to log in all at the same time. More than likely, I will not have like accessibility because everyone's coming in all at once. So really big bottleneck of users, they are like causing traffic. So that means I can't really log in at 8 a.m. Unless I log in at 6 a.m. or maybe even earlier, or maybe even after 8 a.m. You're gonna be sitting there waiting just to get through. So more than likely, as time progresses and as traffic becomes lighter, then I can log in. So at 10 a.m., it's easier to log in. And so that means, to summarize everything, I typically start my day at like 10 a.m. And sometimes there are days where I can't even log in at all. Sometimes they're updating the network, and then no one in my company can log in that same day. So my boss can't log in, his boss can't log in. Everyone on our entire floor can't log into the government laptop. That's where all of our files are really kept, so no one can do any work. We have this company laptop, like that's where we communicate, but I might just say, my boss, hey, uh, I can't log into the government laptop. He'll be like, okay, that's fine, that's cool. Me neither, you know, I can't really do anything about it. <laughs> and so now you're probably thinking, Wow, so if there's a day where you can't log in, and your boss can't log in, and your whole floor can't log in, that means you get like a free day off, right? Technically, yes. Like, I'm being legit serious here. If no one can log in, and no one can get the work done, then like, you basically can't do anything about it. You just have to wait for the VPN or for the IT people to connect you. I know it sounds really like off and weird, but 
just working for the government. That's how it really is. I know it sounds so weird and so easy. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything, but like that's true. I'm not saying that your company will do this too. I'm saying my company does this and like they're aware of that. They're aware that this government laptop causes so many issues and there's nothing you can do about it. People just accept the fact that that's happening. So I am turning on the laptop again. Some days it connects, some days it doesn't. You already know because I already explained to you like what's happening. So there are some days where it's like that, where I'm just sitting there waiting for connection to the government laptop. But it's not like always like that, alright? So don't think that I'm like doing this on purpose. I don't have to dress up nicely just because well, we're working from home and like we don't have to present, or at least I don't have to present so I don't have to wear like a nice tuxedo or anything. Realistically, I do all my work in like my pajamas. Right now I'm just wearing a white t-shirt. Yeah, I'm not professional. Yeah, so I'd work in my pajamas all day if I could. So the main work really is just emailing back as of right now, unless I'm on base. It's really just exchanging emails between people. Sometimes they might send me emails and that might take some time to respond because I'm searching some things or like they require, you know, more research and follow-up emails. So I'll be working on that. But for the most part, if they don't email me, then I don't really have much work. So during the holidays, during like Christmas, for example, people don't really want to do like instruction during Christmas. Or maybe they have Christmas off, so they're not going to be, you know, emailing me a lot during Christmas. So that means during Christmas, I don't have much work. And again, I'm just being very blunt about this. There are some days where I have to work a lot, some days where I don't have to work a lot because it all depends on who is emailing me, you know, who is actually giving me work. So it's really all like a waiting game. Alright, so we got a live one here. So I was able to connect to my government laptop. So typically I like to have my main government laptop here on my government stand. Here's typically the setup I have. So here's a government laptop on my laptop stand and my company laptop. So what I like to do is I work on that, but I also like to keep that on and play like music or maybe have some podcast or some live stream through YouTube just as I listen to that while I'm working. Sometimes it takes like two minutes just to save a PDF here on this government laptop and I'm not exaggerating. So what could take like maybe 30 minutes to do it could prolong to just an hour just because you're literally just waiting for some document to save. Okay, so it is about 11.30. Typically I eat my lunch around 11 to 12, but I mean, right now working from home doesn't really matter too much because my fridge is like, you know, just two steps away. I'm about to have lunch and I can take maybe 30 minutes or an hour just to eat my lunch, but again, because no one's micromanaging me, I can take however long I want to, so long as I respond to their emails or messages within a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, so I'm about to have lunch. So typically during lunch, I like to bring my laptop and just watch YouTube videos or, you know, go on my phone. So it's just like a normal lunch time where you get to take a time off work and do whatever you want during that whole one hour break. So after lunch, now I'm back at my desk and I either go back to getting my work done that I didn't finish in the morning. Or if there's like no emails at all, meaning that I finished all my work, then I get to do technically whatever I want. So if there's like literally nothing to do, meaning like there's no government work, there's no company work, I get to do whatever I want and I want to be still productive. So I guess I can go on my phone and just like play games because no one's watching me, no one's micromanaging me. They don't know that I'm playing games because you know I have my Microsoft Teams right here. Yeah, I can watch YouTube and again no one will notice. But I want to be like productive. You know, I can like edit videos too so I can do a lot of things during this time. At least until I get off official like work hours. And that is around 4 p.m. So. Technically my work is from like 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Those are my actual work hours that I'm like supposed to be working at. But with this whole pandemic going on, like no one really again knows or cares because you know life happens. So yeah, it's about 12, 18. So after lunch, now I'm just waiting for more emails or I can just, you know, work on whatever I want. Because this is a holiday coming up, it's chill right now. And there's really not much to do. <laughs> and it's not my fault. Alright, so it is near the end of the workday. It's about like 3.40. Typically, even before this whole COVID, when I was back at my facility, people start packing up and start leaving by around 3 or 3.30. So me staying here working till like 3.40 is like already exemplary. So I'm like the hardest working there if people start leaving that early. I feel like I'm sugarcoating this or like I'm hiding something because like I didn't show a busy work day. I just showed like an easy work day. So that's just because it's like near the holidays. And sort of, this is what is expected. 
this is like an average work day. At least it is for like working at home. So hopefully I'm not like painting some unrealistic dream or something. This is what it's like working from home. It's pretty bland, pretty boring. You can get away with doing anything you want because you're at home. And I know realistically, bosses and managers, they're doing the same thing. They can't exactly get mad at you if they're also doing the same thing. So after like a long and productive work day, I typically just like to like work out outside in my backyard or maybe I'll tend to my garden. You guys might see that later on in the future, like just me tending to my garden. That'll be a whole separate video. Yeah, so after this whole work day, it's just time for myself. A time to work on like projects or de-stress by working out or filling hobbies and doing all that stuff. Yeah, so working from home, it's pretty boring. I don't know how people like make it so exciting. It's pretty boring. But I do enjoy working from home just because I don't have to like drive an hour just to get to work, drive an hour to get back. That saves like two hours of my life. That saves two hours a day. When I work in person at the office, no one really micromanaged me either, so me being at home, like there now there's even less micromanagement, so you're free to do a lot of what you want. In all honesty, I only work like two to four hours a day, like maximum. That's if I have like good internet connection with my government laptop. Yeah, so my work is pretty easy before this pandemic, and now it's sort of even easier because of this pandemic. So I'm just painting like an unrealistic job for you like this is what i don't want i don't want you to go in thinking that like what i get is what you're gonna get too it's not gonna happen it all depends on the company and who you work for i just happen to work for like a unicorn company that's like super good and super chill about when you work from home okay that's all i have for this work day goodbye